Hello and welcome to another tutorial on the HTML5 canvas element. In this tutorial we're going to look at how to draw lines on the canvas. So um, to get started the first thing that we need to do is create a canvas. So in the body section we can use the canvas tag and give this canvas an ID and you can choose whatever you like for your ID but I'm going to call mine my canvas and um, I'm going to set the width and the height as well. So width will be 200 and the height will be 100. Okay, and then in the uh, head section, I've already got two style tags. So inside the style tag, I'll refer to my canvas ID and I'm going to apply a style. So basically I'll just say background color which could just be white and the border will be one pixel solid and um, it can be black. Okay, so we've created the canvas there and we've also set a style for this canvas. So let's have a look in the browser and see what it looks like. Okay, so there we've just got a plain looking canvas. So we can see where the canvas is. Now what we're going to do in the body section is we can add a um, a bit of JavaScript here inside these script tags. So what we can do is we can create a function and we'll just call this function draw. And inside this function, we're going to um, grab the canvas and we're going to draw the canvas. So just in like in the previous tutorial, we can say var ctx equals document dot get element by ID. And then we're going to um, Grab the uh, my canvas element by its ID, which is my canvas. So we're going to grab the canvas and then we'll say um, dot get context and in brackets and quotation marks 2D. All right, then on the next line we can say ctx dot move to. And basically what this means is um, we're going to set the starting position of the line using x and y positions. So the x position x position will be zero and the y position will be zero. So that's where the line will start, right in the top left corner of the canvas. All right, and then we can say ctx dot line two, and this will be the ending position of the line, the x and y position. So we could say 200 and 100 which would actually be the bottom right hand corner of the canvas because the canvas has a width of 100, sorry, width of 200 and a height of 100. So uh, the line is going to start, start in the top left corner of the canvas and move to the bottom right hand corner of the canvas. All right, then we all we need to do is to say ctx dot stroke and in uh, add some brackets there and the semicolon. And that's the end of our function. However, we do need to call this function when the page loads. So we need a window dot onload event, which is equal to the function name of draw. Okay, so we'll call the draw function um, when the page loads. All right, now let's um, open this in the browser. We'll have a look. Okay, there we go. There's our line. It's just a black line to start with but it begins in the top left corner. So X and Y positions of zero. And then in the bottom right hand corner, the X position of 200 and the Y position of 100. Okay, so that's how to draw the line, um, draw a line using the HTML5 canvas and some JavaScript code. Now the color for the line as it is at the moment is just black. So if we have a look at the line, um, we haven't actually specified a style for that line, but what we can do is we can say um, ctx dot stroke style and we can specify a um, color for the um, actual line. So we could use the uh, hexadecimal color code for red, which is hashtag FF0000 and just add a semicolon on the other line there and then save and refresh. And now we have a red line instead. All right, and we can also um, you know, fiddle around with this rectangle a little bit. So we could say um, that the line will go to 150 X position. 
and the Y position of 75. And there we go. So the line is just a little bit shorter. Um, and yeah, so we could also change this, the starting position of the line as well. So we could change that to something like 10 and 30. Save and refresh. And there we go. We've got another different line. Okay, so um, that's just to show um, basically the X and the Y positions there, how you can fiddle around there with those with, um, to adjust the lines and also to add a stroke style to so to specify a color for the line. All right, so that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.